This program proudly brought to you by Amcal, where you'll find healthy winter value for you and your family. G'day everyone to the show. I'm standing high above Manly Beach here at the International College of Management. And today we're going to be talking to the staff and students and taking a close look at the hospitality side of this college. I will be cooking a tasty chicken dish, an ocean trout with rocket risotto from the college menu, and then the students will be cooking something for me. I'm looking forward to that and more on today's Fresh. St Patrick's was built over 100 years ago and construction started in 1885 and took three years to build using Stone Mount and North Head. Originally it was a seminary or college for priests but that changed in 1996 when it was refurbished and today it is home to exactly 1001 international students in hospitality, tourism and sports to name just a few. Frank, tell me about the college and how it actually works. Well, this is an international college and we have students come from obviously all over the world. We offer quite a number of different uh, courses, including obviously hospitality is one of them, but we have also tourism, retail, property, sports and events management at, at a degree level. And how many different nationalities do you have that actually come to the school? We have over 47 countries that are represented and you know one of the things we do actually is make sure we have a flag for each of the students uh, country so we respect their, their nationalities but over 47 countries. And how important is it to the school to have that many nationalities here? Well what it does is it really gives a, a sort of a, an understanding of internationalization and, and operating in a global environment here in, in sort of a micro sense which is important for them to get this experience. A lot of them come here to get a global experience, to get something other than their own. So when they come here, they can experience that. Now, Chris, you look after the hospitality side of things here at the college. How does all that work? Well, we have about 491 students. Uh, they, we place them in every part of the hotel operation side of things to start with. So they'll work in two restaurants, uh, a fine dining restaurant and a cafe restaurant, and two kitchens, and so we cover the food and beverage side. And then we'll move them through the other parts of the hotel rooms division, so front office and reception, telephone training and housekeeping as well because it's not a hotel without a bed. That's right. And after that period of time, which is about six to seven months, they go into industry training with some of the hotel industry. So jobs with hotels like the Park Hyatt, Four Seasons, Constellation Hotel Group and other partner hotels. In, in Australia only? Mainly in Australia, some of our students do opt to go overseas. We have some good connections with um, big uh, country hotels in the UK and in the ski fields of America and Canada as well. So it's like a tough, tough internship there. <laughs> it's a really tough <laughs> internship. Now, can you describe a normal day here at the college for a hospitality student? I'd like to think that they make their beds when they get up, is of course. Uh, they then go down to breakfast in the Courtyard Cafe. Uh, the cafe is run by our students and, and supervised by our staff le and lecture. They go back to their rooms, grab some books, then head to the classroom for a lecture or two. They probably have lunch at the cafe as well, uh, some more lectures and then dinner with their classmates. Now after the break, I'm going to be cooking ocean trout with rocket risotto and oyster mushrooms from the college menu, so don't go away. Just because I'm losing doesn't mean I'm lost, doesn't mean I'll stop. 